A visit so extravagant you could say it was fit for a princess and that saying couldn't be more true in Stratford today where royal watchers lined up to catch a glimpse of Dutch royalty. Princess Margaret, who is in line for the throne, took part in a special ceremony honoring a long friendship between two countries. CTV's Mark Venema is back from Stratford. Mark, a busy few days for the princess. Rosie, this is day two of her four-day visit here. It's all about honoring the anniversary of the liberation of the Netherlands. And you'll see that seven decades later, it's something the Dutch will not forget about. A royal visit with a Dutch twist. The Dutch members of our community are quite proud of their heritage. And that pride was certainly on display in Stratford. From the orange in the crowd to the waving flags. Everyone here hoping to catch a glimpse of royalty. I really wanted to see the Dutch princess and I wanted to learn more. Princess Marguerite is a member of the Dutch royal house and eighth in line to the throne. She was actually born in Canada as the Netherlands was occupied by Nazi Germany during the Second World War. Hollanders hail the harbingers of freedom. In 1945, Canadian troops helped liberate the Netherlands. A friendship was forever forged. If it wasn't for the Canadians, I wouldn't be standing here today. They saved us. Bernard Van Herk, who moved here when he was 11, wanted his grandson at his side for this special visit. Both of them brought tulips for the princess. It was the best moment of my life. Really? And I'll never forget this. Now this area has always had a strong connection with the Netherlands. In this riding of Perth Wellington, the third most used language is Dutch. Stratford played an integral role during the Second World War as hosting a barracks for the Dutch Army. In the late 1950s, this statue was presented to the city from Dutch immigrants and soldiers. It was uh, a gift to the city of Stratford so that they could thank the city for the hospitality they had during the war. Rutger Karp's father was one of the soldiers who took part in that commemoration. So when he found out it would be rededicated during this visit, he couldn't miss it. I got in the car, I drove uh, nine hours from Washington, D.C. to be part of this ceremony today. Proof that this was so much more than just a royal visit. Canada welcomed uh, our family. It was two countries renewing a strong friendship that dates back seven decades. And the princess had lunch at the Stratford Festival today before taking off for another visit in Goderich. Rosie. Thanks, Mark.